Hello everybody and welcome once again to another edition of Inside the Headset. Here we are, it's week five, game six, and I'm with the head coach of the Seagull Stars, Greg Wyant. Last Friday night you had a great game and came away with a big win and talked a little bit about on the radio. Uh, you've had a chance to review the, vi the video and kind of dissect a little bit. Was there anything that came out of it, coach? Yeah, if we don't get any better on defense, we ain't going to be 5-0 very long. So. Just real simple. As simple as that. We got to get better on defense. We gave up too many points. It's a good football team, but uh, you know, uh, there that's, was no sacks. No, I mean, but thing, you know, good thing about it is, is that, and the thing I like about our football team is too, we still got some room for improvement. And uh, and when you're sitting going into the sixth ball game of the season, you know, that's that's a pretty good thing to say. And most people can say that too, but. We're always trying to get us better and, and be as, as good as we can possibly be. I was fortunate enough to, to grab some video on Friday night, and one of the biggest things I noticed was from the time ball is set um, by the ref, uh, it's about three or four seconds. Stockfield's got it in his hands, and normally about seven to eight, the moneymaker's got it in his hands. Whatever you all have decided to do, whether it be throw it, stock still keep it, tuck it, and run it, or give it off to Hardy. One of those three things have happened, and talk a little bit about that tempo. And you talked a little bit about throttling it up and throttling it down, how, and, and them accepting it. Yeah, I mean, you know, two years ago we decided to go to this. We had to be a little bit different in our league. We didn't have the type of caliber of uh, kids that, that, that uh, most everybody in our league has. We can't get with a tight end and the fullback and just pound it down your throat like some of these other folks traditionally have in, in, in our league. So we had to find something a little bit different to fit our personnel, and we've gone to this high tempo, um, which is, you know, it's been good. I mean, we put pressure on the defense. We put pressure on the coaching staff to make decisions in a big-time hurry, and, uh, you know, it's helped us. Yes, it, it surely has, and, and, and you, you've got a great ball club. You talked a little bit also about uh, your injury front. How are you doing there? We're banged up up front bad. We're going to go into this ball game with two, uh, three starting offensive linemen out for the, for the week. So. Uh, mm. We're, we're dinged up pretty good. Um, you know, um, good thing is we've got a little bit of depth and it's going to help us out, but, uh, you know, we've got to get better, especially for the next week. You're at home here and uh, got, home, home, got, got, yeah, homecoming. got homecoming at home this week. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Ravenwood, what, what, talk to us a little bit about Ravenwood. They're big. Um, you know, last year we went over there and we, uh, we slopped around and they got after us pretty good and we got out of there with a win. We were pretty fortunate to come out of there with a win. They're just as big this year. They're going to run the ball pretty well, and and uh, we're going to try to swallow you up up front um, defensively. Um, they run to the ball real well, and, and uh, you know we've got we've got to do a good job of keeping them you know out of their game. So some new stars will be seeing some playing time. And yeah, we'll, they're, we'll, they're going to be challenged Friday night. Especially up new front, kids. yeah. I mean, some new kids are going to be challenged. We're well, not find necessarily out. new, but they're going to be getting the starting yeah. role. I mean, Zach Fry came in two weeks ago after. Uh, um, Jacob Schultz went down with a knee injury and has done a great job coming in and, and replacing him. We've got a couple guys that are going to start this week that hadn't started before but have played a little bit. So, um, you know, they've got to step up to the plate and, and do their job. You roll right into my next question, and let's close with this, and that's, that's a little bit about leadership. You've got a lot of seniors, and a lot of coaches try to think, you know, um, it just either happens, it doesn't happen, but – I noticed that in even all your shows that you've talked about on the radio and even afterwards and in the paper and everything about how well these kids gel together, and that's on the field and off the field. And that just that's just straight up leadership, Coach, within not necessarily – it comes from you all, but it's it's in the kids. we got good kids. I mean, I've bragged on them, you know, all year long. We've got a good group of seniors. We've got 31 of them, and, and there isn't any of them I wouldn't take home with me and let live with me. I mean, I think the world of every one of them. Uh, and, and, and you know, when you got 31 seniors and there's a lot of character on your football team, then, then you got a chance of being pretty good and you probably should be pretty good. But you've been a part of a lot of big football teams that have gone far down the list. Have they all had that same characteristic or have some of them just come in or, and you've know, done the business or when you start to see it develop in the kids and them no, gelling No, I mean, in? not all of them are like that now. I mean, I've, I've been deep with some teams that, that hadn't had great character They just before. left right after, just yeah, you separated. Know, yeah, you know, but... Uh, it's neat when it starts to it's do fun. it. It's fun. It's fun to coach these kids. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a joy to coach them. And, and uh, um, you know, most of them are coachable. What's really good is the younger kids get to see how the older kids react to situations and adversity. Nice. And, uh, and, and hopefully that, you know, they'll learn from that and react the exact same way. So 
you know, we're building things here, you know, a little bit at a time, slowly but surely. Foundation. We're, yeah, we're getting to where we need to be. Last year's group did a did a good job of building on what the first year's group that I had here did. You know, they they took it on the chop some, and and uh, they weren't near as athletic as the group that we had last year and this year. But they but they they worked hard, and they were you know I got to brag on that group. They worked hard, and and you know they kind of laid the foundation, and then last year's group has just kind of built it up a little bit more, and this group's you know raising the bar just a little bit higher. Well, I really appreciate it. Well, it's all gathered up. That's Friday night right here at. At, uh, here at Siegel High School, 7 o'clock, uh, Ravenwood in Siegel. Come on out and watch it.